Well, welcome to the future BCC at Taunton and our learning center. Uh, my name is Jack Sprague. It's my honor and privilege to serve as president of this great institution. And I'll serve as your uh, master of ceremonies today, I guess. Um, thank you for joining us. This is a historic day uh, in uh, Bristol Community College's history. Uh, today we're announcing the location of our permanent home for the uh, BCC Taunton Center. And it's right here in this uh, uh, gal Silver Galleria, uh, Silver City Galleria. Um, the mall, which opened in the 7th of April, 1992, encompasses more than 1 million square feet. And uh, it's a little over a million 30,000, and we're taking that 30,000. So we're, we're gonna have 26,000 uh, right here. <clears throat> People already in work, working in the area, uh, dismantling what had been there, and, uh, and we're moving forward. Uh, before we start, I'd like to recognize some of our local leaders who are in attendance. Um, so some of them will be speaking shortly, so I'll, I'll introduce them at that point. But I did want to uh, uh, <clears throat> welcome for you some of our uh, uh, trustees, uh, BCC trustees. Uh, Diane Sylvia is here, uh, BCC alum as well. Um, Steve Torres is coming, I believe. And JZL Chase is also here uh, as our trustees. We have uh, other city people that you'll recognize. Uh, Jean Quinn, a city council member, is there she is. Uh, Estelle Borges, uh, city council. Uh, Peter Kaur, T I want to get this right, TMLP, Peter, is that right? <laughs> and uh, Jordan Fiore, Jordan, there he is, yeah. Um, You've met, you'll be meeting some of our legislators, but I did want to point out um, our uh, representative and speaker pro tem, Patricia Haddad, and um, Representative Shauna O'Connell, thank you, and Representative Steve Howard. Uh, we have our school superintendent, uh, Dr. Julie Hackett. Where is she? There she is. Hi, Julie. Great partnership. Um, also, uh, we have uh, Barney McCauley, a managing partner of Tricom Real Estate. Uh, Kerry Babin from the Chamber. Hi, Kerry. Uh, Dave DeRoches, a marketing director, is here also from the mall, and uh, Kenneth Darling from the mall operations. So we have quite an array of uh, people, and it kind of demonstrates, uh, I think, in my mind anyway, if nowhere else, the uh, wonderful partnerships that we have and the array of partners that we have uh, pulling together this project and the support for BCC and higher education in the Taunton area. Uh, now to welcome you on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I invite the chair of our BCC Board of Trustees and alumnus of the class of 1978 at BCC, Joseph Marshall, Chair Joseph Marshall. Please welcome. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. On behalf of the entire board of trustees, I'd like to congratulate you, Dr. Spraga, the students, the staff, and everyone else that, uh, that put this together. You really had to be there. I mean, it, it, this just didn't pop up. It, uh, it was a lot of hard work and a lot of cooperation from some of the people up here and some of the people out there. Um, as you may or may not know, BCC's mission is, is to provide affordable access to higher education in the south coast of Massachusetts. And if you look around, we're in New Bedford, uh, we're in Attleboro, we're now here in Taunton, expanding here in Taunton, and we're in Fall River. The college's dedication to making a permanent location here in Taunton is an I ideal example of that mission. The road to this moment um, has been long and, and many times bumpy, but the work, and, and believe me, you really had to be there, the work of the, uh, the staff of BCC and, and the people involved in this, um, it, what, it didn't just happen. Like New Bedford and Attleboro before it, BCC Taunton will soon have an in, even larger impact on the community than it already has. Instead of having to drive to another campus, uh, students will have a location of their own first right here at the Galleria, in between classes. They'll be able to eat, study, shop, uh, just whatever makes them happy and, and keeps them in class. 
Um, then they'll be able to go back after they graduate, we hope, uh, able to go back into the Taunton community and to share the knowledge and the um, and the and what they've they've earned and learned here at BCC and join the ranks of the BCC alumni. Uh, the, the key, and, and we discussed this at almost all of the uh, trustees meetings, is uh, education to work because that's what it's all about. It's not about just going to school. It's to convert that into a uh, an occupation and where you can have a gainful wage. This is a this is a wonderful way to celebrate the college's 50th anniversary. If you don't know, you will know with Sally's help. Uh, everybody will know. Um, but I can't wait, and it's going to be soon. I can't wait to see the finished product. If you don't, if you have time, make sure you take a look at the space. But um, the finished product should be done this summer, and um, then we'll be going, you know, full guns. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for being here, and I'd like to reintroduce Dr. Sprague. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, uh, uh, Chairman, uh, Chairman Marshall. Uh, I'm glad he put in studies. You can shop and study and... Uh, uh, then bowl a little bit and study, and we keep putting that in there. Uh, uh, for decades, uh, and really it's been decades, um, uh, Bristol has offered classes in Taunton. All, all, you may not know that because there were very few of them and very few students. Uh, the college has been in various locations for many years, including several public school facilities. And thanks to the hospitality of our outstanding superintendent, uh, Dr. Julie Hackett, and the Taunton Public School Department. Uh, most recently, we've been housed in the former Taunton Catholic Middle School on Summer Street. Uh, while we very much enjoyed our time at that location, and we're still there for this semester, it has provided important benefits for our students. The cost of retrofitting the building um, into modern and code compliant uh, status uh, uh, proved to be prohibitively expensive, and we had to search uh, elsewhere. When it became apparent that we would need a new home, we partnered with DCAM, the Division of Capital Asset and Management and Maintenance, to begin looking. Uh, Commissioner, DCAM Commissioner Carol Gladstone was a huge help for us uh, as we moved this uh, process along. And also, uh, we, uh, we put out a public request for proposals, inviting all interested parties to participate. And after an extensive search, our expert negotiator from DCAM, they deal with the negotiations, Peter Woodford, concluded arrangements for our new permanent location in Taunton here at the mall. In several months, this unoccupied space will transform into a 26,000 gross square feet hub of learning and technology in the region. The plans include a full service enrollment center, advising office, library, tutoring lab, and other academic support services, a learning commons, two science labs, three computer labs, space for BCC's adult basic education program, office space, got to have office space, general purpose classrooms, and the long anticipated casino lab. And there's an outline here. I invite you to look at the floor plan um, after the conference. Construction will begin very shortly. Uh, in fact, some of it is already taking place as we speak, as they dismantle what had been there and, uh, and begin moving. So we hope to hold classes in this space uh, perhaps as early as summer of uh, uh, this summer, summer 2016. This move represents a wonderful opportunity for BCC, our students, the Galleria, and the entire Taunton community. It's not every day that you see a college move into a mall but this is actually somewhat of a national trend for businesses and some higher education facilities. Thus, BCC's Taunton operation incorporates a pioneering public-private partnership. Rather than relying solely on the cluster of businesses and the attendant vagaries of unpredictable business cycles, this higher educational presence will help stabilize the entire mall. Our innovative partnership contributes to what will become a destination mall at Silver Galleria repurposing this space as one that will now provide education to hundreds, and we hope thousands, of students is a tremendous boon to the city of Taunton and to the Galleria, which is a longtime staple of this community. We expect our students uh, immediately to feel, uh, to feel at home here as we move forward. 
Each time we have opened a permanent campus or center, and we've opened two since I became president in 2000, one in New Bedford and one in Attleboro, enrollment has boomed. Also, it is important to note that the enrollment at those new locations are, has not negatively affected enrollment at our campus in Fall River. This demonstrates just how powerful and meaningful a local campus is to the community. I should add anecdotally, as we were getting set up for this press conference, a customer walked by, inquired about taking classes this spring, and uh, you'll meet Gloria Sadler, our uh, director of the campus. She signed them up, and uh, so uh, I hope more will come. <laughs> Isn't that a great story? <clears throat> now, I'd like to invite uh, that director of the BCC Taunton Center, uh, Gloria Sadler, an alumna of the class of 2010, to say a few words about the impact this will have on the day-to-day -day experience uh, for our students. Gloria Sadler, please welcome her. It is a privilege to be a part of the charge that provides the students and the community of Taunton with a permanent Bristol Community College campus in Taunton. Bristol Community College Taunton Center has seen many changes through the years in location, program offering, and class sizes. What has not changed is our continued growth, and our, what has changed is our continued growth and the students and the community's excitement in being a part of Bristol Community College and what we offer to enrich their lives and the lives of those within the community. During our time at the Taunton Catholic Middle School, we have seen our first student organizations, held workshop series led by community leaders, and celebrated the college's 50th anniversary. We look forward to the new memories we will make in our new home with our students and community leaders as they continue to fulfill their dreams of earning degrees, building strong partnerships, and shaping our student lives. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria. I'd like now to welcome a representative from the Galleria Corporate Offices who is here to speak about this new partnership and what it means to the future of them all. Please welcome one of the managing partners of the Tricom Real Estate Group, Barney McCauley. Barney. Thank you, Doctor. We are thrilled to have BCC here at Silver City Galleria. We understand the real synergy that this will create for the students, the faculty members, and the existing roster of tenants. <clears throat> students will be able to go to class. I will make sure I say that several times. <laughs> go to class, study with the free Wi-Fi, dine in at the restaurants, unwind at the Regal Movie Theater or the Round One Entertainment Facility, and shop, obviously, while they're here. But also, the existing tenants will not only get customers for, the, for their stores and their entertainment venues, but also they will get potential employees. Our fair mayor, we'll get more tax revenue, which is important to support what we have going on here. The families of Taunton, with this expanded facility, will have more educational opportunities, and we will tie right in with the casino that's coming in across the street. This is a classic example of public-private partnership, and none of this could have been achieved without several people's help a lot, um, and I'm sure I will miss some, but Mayor Boy was very instrumental in getting this done and directing us through the process. Uh, Kevin Shea, the economic director for Taunton, was very much an assistant in this. All the different members of the uh, BCC team and Senator Pacquio all helped us moving this forward. This is a really great opportunity for the mall. It's a game changer. It really brings a lot of people into the mall, and we're very excited to have them here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Barney. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Barney. 
uh, as, as he did mention, while well, people are shopping and bowling, they study. You got to study as well <laughs> and go to class. Um, uh, next, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to welcome the mayor of Taunton, the Honorable Thomas Hoy, who has been a strong supporter of BCC throughout his tenure. Uh, he went with us through many different iterations of where we would be and where we could possibly go and uh, he stayed with us the whole time because I think, uh, I don't think, I know he recognized the value of BCC for the citizens of, uh, of Taunton. So please welcome Mayor Tom Hoy. <clears throat> Just for the record, this is it, right Jack? All right, we've been to a couple of openings thus far. But Jack gave me strict instructions that my remarks today would be brief and not as long as my inaugural remarks on, on Monday. But it, it's great to be here. I just want to just quickly uh, thank Barney and, and his, his crew, Gar and everybody else at Tricom Real Estate. Uh, they have been wonderful partners here to the city of Taunton. From the moment that they got on board and took an interest, they've been in uh, my office several times. We're always talking about new and innovative things for the Silver City Galleria Mall. Let's face it, the garden style malls of the 90s when, th when this was uh, built uh, just aren't really making it anymore. They're not in existence. So the these facilities have to reinvent th themselves. And I'm, I'm happy that we have a great partner uh, with Tricom, with Barney and Gar and everyone else. You see the round one, you see the investment in the, in the movie theater, you see the uh, facade improvements that have been done to the Galleria, and now the addition of BCC is only going to strengthen that. As Barney mentioned, this is a private-public partnership at its best. It, it really is. Uh, BCC's had a strong presence here for a long time, and they're going to continue to have a strong presence here. We already have the, the college course offerings that Taunton High School students could take advantage of. It's great in today's uh, higher education, the changing market, especially the escalating costs, that BCC is going to be available for our residents of not only Taunton but surrounding, the surrounding community as well. So this is, this is a great uh, day here in, this, in the city of Taunton. I'm happy that Macy's is going to start carrying sport coats with the uh, patches on the sleeve. Those will be a top seller with a, that was a joke, you guys can laugh. Well, give, me, give me a little bit. But um, yeah, the old, the old people got it. Thanks, Pat. But, um, Mayor, <clears throat> Barney was right that it, uh, it is difficult when you start picking out people, but I didn't want to overlook a few others. Uh, I mentioned the t uh, uh, tortuous, uh, that's my adjective, the negotiations with uh, all the partners to, to come to this uh, point. And I, uh, you know, we have a lot of faculty and staff uh, here uh, from BCC, but I did want to single out at my peril, uh, single out uh, Vice President Steve Kenyon who worked tirelessly uh, at other locations as well as here to finally get this uh, uh, negotiated and, uh, and wrapped up. And Steve, thank you very much for all you've done. <laughs> Another distinguished visitor we have with us is Pat Murray, uh, the president of Bristol County Savings Bank. Uh, Pat is, uh, where is Pat? There he is over there. Pat also serves <clears throat> uh, his other job during the day, I think it takes more time than being president of the bank, is he's co-chair of our capital campaign committee uh, at BCC, along with uh, another bank president, Nick Chris. So, Pat, thank you very much for all you do. <clears throat> and the president of our BCC Foundation Resource Development, Don Smith. Don, thank you. Former trustee. <clears throat> Uh, we uh, have all, also with us uh, other advocates of uh, Taunton Center who have been fighting for BCC locally and at the State House. Uh, one in particular uh, uh, has been instrumental in this lengthy process to locate BCC in Taunton, and I'm very grateful, grateful to him. Senator Mark Pacheco has uh, worked tirelessly since I arrived uh, 15, 16 years ago, uh, working to find a place in Taunton for. Uh, for BCC, knowing the value uh, that BCC would have for economic development and the educational improvement uh, um, 
uh, levels of educational attainment, levels of literacy. Those are two twin evils, I call them, that plague our whole southeastern mass region. And uh, Senator Pacheco uh, recognized immediately the value of uh, having BCC in the Taunton area. So please welcome a tireless champion for education, Mark Pacheco. Thank you uh, so very, very much uh, uh, to our president, uh, Jax Prager. He is just a, a phenomenal educational leader here in the Commonwealth. Uh, he has just done some uh, tremendous work on behalf of BCC and uh, public higher education in general. Uh, and so I'm so proud to be here today with him. I know this has been uh, not only a mission, but a headache uh, for for Jack Sprager from time to time uh, over the years. Uh, but Jack, finally, we have a permanent location at least for the next 10 years. Uh, so that's, uh, that's great. Let me thank uh, Chairman Marshall and all the trustees, all those affiliated with BCC that are here who, uh, as the Chairman said, uh, staff and faculty have worked behind the scenes to make sure that everything was ready. Uh, to move forward. <clears throat> Let me also thank uh, Bonnie McCauley and the, uh, the mall's team. Bonnie is a managing partner and has been uh, very, very persistent in trying to move forward and get something done here at the mall. And I want to congratulate him as well for the fine work that he has been doing under his leadership in trying to put a lot of new venues here. Uh, because what's good for the mall is good for Taunton and is good for our economy. Uh, so that's very, very important. And I think the chairman uh, said it, it's also good for employment opportunities for our young people and opportunities to uh, have internships with some of these uh, corporations here as well. So I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and all those affiliated with BCC, in particular Gloria, who has been at the uh, forefront of, uh, of our present location in, uh, in Taunton. I know the mayor and I have talked about this uh, for, um, you know, the whole time that he has been in the mayor's office. I look out and I see Julie Hackett as the superintendent of schools, and the Taunton Public Schools under your leadership, Julie, has made sure that BCC has had a home, not only the, during the, your tenure as superintendent, but going way back uh, to the days when I had the great privilege to sit on the Taunton School Committee. And BCC was always a part of our community. And today, because of the great work that has been done again at BCC, the partnership that has been put together here today, and the work that we in the legislature have tried to do to make sure funding authorization has been there uh, with my colleagues in the legislature who are here today, uh, particular uh, Keiko Orell, and this we are in her district here, uh, in her reps district. Uh, she's done an outstanding job working with my office on this, and uh, specifically uh, uh, Pat Haddad, where she has worked with BCC over the years uh, and uh, has been at many of the meetings that we had on this particular issue uh, over the last uh, few years. I want to thank all of my colleagues uh, here in the legislature who have joined us today and all those up in Boston for their work in supporting public higher education. It's indeed critical. Let me just say that BCC celebrates its 50th year in 2016. But here today in Taunton, this is a new beginning for BCC. And I can imagine what this is, my, my imagination is trying to take hold here as to what this will look like as we go forward. Uh, it's going to actually be fun to go to college, right? get out of that car and you can do a whole lot of things uh, when you get here to this location. 
And so let us go forth and spread the word uh, from today forward that this will be the location of BCC uh, for the next 10 years under the lease. And hopefully we can uh, do more to make sure that permanent location will be here in the city of Taunton for generations to come. Uh, let me just thank everybody and uh, I can't wait to be here for the groundbreaking so we can actually see the equipment and the technology in that casino school. I can't wait to walk into that casino school to try to figure out what the dealers are doing at the table, you know? Thank you very much. Uh, this will be a great day in the future for the BCC. Thank you, Senator Pacheco. Um, I mentioned uh, the, some of the uh, representatives already, uh, Pat and Shauna, have also a piece of, uh, of Taunton, and I thank you so much for being there, and Representative Howard is nearby. But uh, as the Senator mentioned, uh, this location is uh, involved and in, included in uh, our, the, the district for our next speaker, and it gives me, uh, again, a great honor to introduce her to you. She, she um, has been a champion, as all the legislators have been, uh, pushing forward in any, on all fronts uh, as we investigated and explored other possibilities as well as this possibility. And I'm indebted to all of you for your great work and I appreciate it very much. So please welcome our representative in this location, uh, Keiko Oral. Keiko. Thank you, Dr. Spraga. This is an exciting day for Bristol Community College, and I am happy to be here on behalf of the community to, to welcome BCC, to say we're so excited um, that the mall has is, is reached an agreement for a permanent home. We're so excited for the city of Taunton. And um, as a parent of two BCC alums, um, I can't I, I can't express how exciting it would be, would have been for my children to have been able to uh, experience this great location. Uh, this represents to me the best of innovation in problem solving and as the Senator mentioned, um, the entire delegation including um, Representative Haddad, Representative O'Connell and um, Representative Howitt have been working really hard on trying to make this happen over the past few months. Senator Pacheco has been working on it for years. Representative Haddad has been working on it for years. Um, it, it, is, it, is, uh, it is really exciting because I can't think, and I'm imagining that you can't think of another community college that is in a mall like this. And so we're on the, uh, the groundbreaking front of, of community colleges, and it's an exciting place to be. And as people walk around the mall and are shopping, uh, looking for different things, I think that the students inside of BCC are going to be looking into different things. They're gonna be shopping. They're gonna be thinking about where they can go with their futures. I think that's a great opportunity for all of the citizens of Taunton. And I wanna thank you again for being here. Congratulations, Dr. Sprecher. Well, thank you very much. I did want to, uh, one other person I forgot, I'm sorry, we have 30,000 uh, alums in these 50 years at BCC, and the head of our alumni association, Patricia, an alum, of course, obviously herself, Patricia Zukowski. Thank you, Patricia, for coming here. <clears throat> we, uh, the senator mentioned uh, the, the great relationship we have with Dr. Hackett and the public schools, and the mayor mentioned the uh, dual enrollment arrangements that we have. We hope to expand that, perhaps go into an early college uh, where students can graduate not only at the same time with a high school degree, graduate uh, with a college uh, associate's degree as well. And we'll look into that as well. So we're very, very happy about that. The future, uh, Barney, we have 30,000 of your million 30,000, but we've got our eye on the other million, okay? <laughs> um, the future of BCC Taunton is not only secure, but also bright and shining. Uh, we're looking forward to moving into our new home, and we thank everyone who made this move possible. Our sights are set on opening here in late spring or early summer. I hope you will join us with us to celebrate the ribbon cutting and grand opening, and you'll hear about that. 
BCC looks forward to providing to the people of the greater Taunton area enhanced opportunities for a better life through education. We continue to change the world by changing lives learner by learner. Very proud of what we do, uh, this great institution. So cheers, and I thank you. And we'll be open for any questions uh, as you wish uh, as well. But I thank you for coming, and let's move forward. Thank you. Thank you.